Welcome to our lecture online. Our next integral is the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x. The trick there is to separate 1 over the cosine cube of x into the product of 1 over the cosine of x times 1 over the cosine square of x dx. Once we have it in this form, we can actually use integration by parts to solve that. Remember, that works as follows. If we have a u dv, that's equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And so we have to identify the u and the dv. So if we let u equal 1 over the cosine of x and dv the remainder, we can actually solve that integral. So we're going to let u equal 1 over the cosine of x, and then du will be equal to, oop, oh, that's not an equal sign, so then we have a du, which is equal to, let's see here, that would be the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x dx, using the quotient rule, and then we let dv equal to 1 over the cosine square of x dx, now, 1 over the cosine square of x is equal to the secant square of x, and the integral of the secant square of x is equal to the tangent of x. That means that v is equal to the tangent, which is the sine divided by the cosine of x, like that. And then we can plug that in here. So that means that this is equal to u times v. So here's our u, there's our v, that's the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x, the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x minus the integral of v du. Now v is here, the u is there, so that gives us the sine squared divided by the cosine cube. So that's the integral of the sine square of x divided by the cosine cube of x dx. Now it looks like we haven't gotten any farther with this, but then if we write the numerator as 1 minus the cosine square, we get the following. So this becomes equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x minus the integral of 1 minus the cosine square of x. So we have 1 over the cosine cube of x dx minus, of course, minus times a minus gives us a plus the integral of the cosine square of x divided by the cosine. Well, let me write it out. Otherwise, it might get confusing here, so I'm trying to save some board space and time, but so it's the integral of 1 minus the cosine square of x over the cosine cube of x dx. And now we can write this as two separate integrals, so you can see where I came from. So this is equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x minus the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x. Now notice that this is the integral we started with. So, we, of course, we need to put a dx there. So on the left side, we're going to write the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x dx. And then we still have the minus times the minus, which is a plus. The integral cosine squared divided by cosine cubed is 1 over the cosine of x dx. So this is now the trick that we use with integration by parts. We're going to put this over here, add them together, so we end up with 2 times the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x dx is equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x, and then plus the integral of 1 over the cosine of x dx. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, then we again on the left side will have the, the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x, but in a form that's much easier to work with. And on top of that, if you remember how to do this one, 1 over the cosine of x dx, we did that in number 100, we're now 104. If you go back to video number 100, we showed you how to integrate this one. That means now that the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 dx, is equal to 1 half this first term, which is sine of x divided by the cosine square of x, plus 1 half times the integral of 1 over the cosine of x, which is equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent 
of x. And of course, we also have a constant of integration at the end. And so now we have the actual result for the integral of 1 over the cosine cube of x dx. And again, if you don't remember how to do this one, go back to video number 100, where we show you how to find that integral as well. And that's how it's done.